Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amberly Nicole for the ones that are new. So today I'm going to be talking about my life update. So if you guys have been following me since 2020 when I first started some of my YouTube videos that you know that I was doing nursing content. Um, I'm trying my best to be transparent so just bear with me. Um, so I was going for nursing and um, it was becoming very challenging for me to continue because uh, I found that nursing was not my calling and I kept running into stumbling blocks and I feel like God was just trying to tell me something but I was totally ignoring it. When things stopped working out for me or when I felt like things were not working out for me and I'm like okay God I'm just going to listen to what you have to say because I was so eager to do nursing and to complete nursing and I said okay God I'm totally leaning and depending on you and this season and I need your help. Uh, I was pressed I felt God was pressing on me to go on a fast and I went on a three-day fast I uploaded a video of that experience so if you guys want to go back or take a look and watch it um, you guys will understand what I'm seeing now um, so I did a three-day fast and on that fast I was strategic strategic about my um petition god said let your petition be known to him and i wanted the right answers for god like in this in that season i was leaning and depending more on god because i knew i couldn't do it by myself and i knew that i knew that i couldn't do things without him I, it was no way so i'm like okay god um i guess nursing's not working out for me um i believe this is not my calling like i experienced it you know i was a, a nurse tech and i experienced some of the things that the nurses were going through during covid i worked the whole entire time during covid and it was very tough for me to see um and then i found myself crying like when I take breaks, I would find myself crying in the bathroom, crying before I go to a shift and just praying, praying over all the people that I help and over the nurses and doctors um, that I was standing alongside with or that was their patients too. To see people in that light, in that way, and I try my best to be the best nurse that I can be by caring and loving on them during that time because they didn't have none of their family. Um, so nobody can could come up and visit. It was just it was just heartbroken during that time. I asked God like, Lord, you know, if it's something that I'm trying to dive into, and it, I know that I'm probably not gonna be happy in that field or like in the end, then just let me know. Even if I, you know, not get mad, but like be puzzled, like, hmm, I still want to go through with it. This is still my uh, my dream job. So I felt God was telling me to go in a different direction. Again, I was not listening. So I was pressed. I felt God pressed on me to go on a fast. So I went on a three day fast. And in that fast, I was asking God to lead my, to order my footsteps, to lead in God um, on the next thing I should be doing. And uh, I was just pulling on God for those three days. And I was like, okay, God, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me at? As far as my career, you say you have my you have my schooling, you have my career, and, and all the other stuff that I asked him for. And you said, seek ye the kingdom of God, and the rest shall be added. I know that I have been seeking him. And not for my, not for my wants per se, just for him to uplift me spiritually and to let me know that I'm on the right path and that I'm following him and following his ways. But again, God likes to add stuff on when he see you being, um, you know, someone of good and just serving him and walking in his ways and telling the truth to his people. He wants to add on to you. So I said, OK, God, I'm asking you in this season, what is my mate? Uh, what school do you want me at? Where where do I supposed to be? Because I keep running into stumbling blocks and it's stopping me to get to the next step, which is like graduation. So I went on a fast and I saw um a sign and it was like business and it was it was circling around like a like it was like a 3d 3d dimension that was circling uh in the circle and i saw business i'm just like business that was the last thing on my list guys to do business okay i'm i don't know nothing about business my family we come from healthcare and educators so i'm just like business like i don't know nothing about business i don't know their salary i don't know their figures like lord i'm asking him are you sure this is what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> like, are you sure business? Because I never really um, looked at any majors in business. I never um, was moved by business. I thought it was a little boring because that's just me having a lack of knowledge of, you know, what business people do. So I said business. 
I said, okay, okay, God, I'm, I don't think, I gotta, I, I, I trust myself, I trust you to tell me this, but I feel like I'm just now just dreaming about stuff, you know, I need somebody else to pray over me or somebody to go on this fast with me uh, to see where I'm supposed to be going. Um, and the devil will put anything in your way to keep you from getting to where you're supposed to be. Like, he will put roadblocks everywhere, okay? And it was roadblocks coming my way from each direction. It's like he was trying to stop me from pursuing college or pursuing um, my life. So, I'm like, no, all this got to cease. I'm, I'm crying out to God. I'm going to God. I remember my mom, I haven't, I didn't tell her uh, exactly, and I'm about to tear up because it's so, it's such a uh, touching story. I told my mom, like, look, mom, like, I'm trying to figure out what I should be doing, what's my major, and she just, she'll just say, go pray, um, tell God about it, and I'm just like, I need an answer. I seen the answer. I just, I was like, I'm not sure if that's the right answer. So, my mom, was laying next to me and she said amber god wants you to be a business woman. i said what <laughs> i said funny that you say that because i had a, a dream that i saw a business it was like in a 3d dimension it was just rotating around like he wanted me to touch it and i become this business person so i'm like god i don't know nothing about business i have to start a whole new curriculum like people that's in school know what i'm talking about i have to start a whole new um i have to change my major at this point um and that kind of can put you uh, uh, a step back um from your graduation mark but i really wasn't focused on graduation i was just trying to see what is for amber what is for me i'm trying to focus on me and what god has for me okay i went in in the spirit for amberly for me so i said okay i'm gonna trust god um it was very disheartening and i was still in disbelief that i was moving from nursing because nursing all that's all i knew all i knew was nursing this is what i'm gonna be i don't want to hear it i'm gonna be an mp and da 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 did not happen okay i, I said okay i'm running into st uh, stumbling blocks and i feel like this is the enemy coming up against me and maybe it was just god saying amber this is not where you supposed to be at so I told God to pick out the school to give me to fix my living situation and to um, basically choose my major and everything else, which he gave me my major. He gave me the school that I need to go to. Um, fast forward to 2022, I ran into another stumbling block and I had to sit out that whole year. And because of what something had happened and I felt like I needed to take that time off to focus my attention elsewhere. Um, so I felt like I was a, I was getting a little depressed and I was like, God, you know, you said you had this for me and this is the major I'm supposed to be going into, but this is now happening. And am I ever going to just start or finish what I have started? And I know God was telling me to be patient. I got you. Continue to do what you're, what you're doing for that situation. And I got you. 2023 hit and I, I depended wholeheartedly on God. I got back in school, did some online classes with my business major. And I feel good about myself and I told God, thank you for changing, you know, changing my circumstance, changing my thoughts on school. So guys, I'm now in business school, finishing up some of my curriculum and going into my, finish up some of my core classes, going into my major classes. So now I am a business major and I will tell you about this journey, guys, as things continue. Again, um, I like business and uh, I fell in love with it and I didn't think that I was going to be this good, but this semester in my core classes, I came out with AB. So I'm very excited for this season and to learn new material. I know God is, is saying that Amber likes to learn new stuff, which I do. And this is, but this is just a whole new, new. And I, actually, I liked it. Um, I can vibe with it and I like being over uh, different things. Out of all my jobs, I have been a manager at, at something. If it was over cashiers or this and the other i was always like in a manager position so i feel like god was equipping me even in my past and previous jobs he has equipped me for this season now and it's so funny how god can use everything to work out for your good romans 8 and 28 god used everything for the greater good so that was my scripture 8 and 28 for Romans 8 and 28 for um, 2022, I just kept saying God's working everything out for my good, for my good, for my good. And he did, guys. He gave me just that. He gave, he fixed my living situation. 
he uh, fixed my major. He gave me my major that I, I fasted for and that I was crying out to him about. And he's working out some other things, y'all. And I'm, I'm so excited. I want to continue on the streak of AB on a roll. And I'm almost done. I'm almost to the finish line. I feel like I'm finally walking into my purpose. I'm finally walking into the things that God wants me to walk into. Because I have to think about it. I ignore what God was saying about business. Like, I'll say three years. Because I was like, I want to do nursing. I want to do nursing. This is what I'm going to do. I don't care what the other voices are saying to me. Like, And I I delayed myself because I wasn't listening to the voice of the Lord. So we want to be obedient. And we want to listen to the voice of, of the Lord because it can save you so much time. Whether you, you're listen, you're so busy listening to yourself and you're not listening to what God has to say. And God's saying, no, I want you to go somewhere else. No, I want you to go somewhere else. This is where I want you to be. And we can get comfortable in our own skin and say, you know what? No. I want to do this and God said no you need to do this so we can delay ourselves and I felt myself being delayed because I was my own stumbling block and I was getting in the way and blocking out the voice of the Lord because I knew I was so close to getting this this degree of my dream job that I wanted to get but God was like I need you to pivot I need you to move somewhere so when he told me to pivot I was like what do you want me to pivot to this is all I know this is all I've been knowing for the last three to four years trying to get somewhere that you know, that was my dream place to, to go, my dream career. And he was like, no, you're going to be a businesswoman. So I'm super excited, guys. My my mind has changed. God has renewed my mind in so many ways. My mind doesn't think the same way, I'll say, for the past year or so. Like, I'm, my mind thinks strictly business. Like, I know, I know exactly what to do. And I'm not saying that to be cocky. I'm just saying that with confidence. And God gave me that. Again, I was not business. I wasn't a business business minded person. I knew I was responsible over money and different things like that. But when he gave me, you know, accounting, I was just like, wow, this is different. This is something new. That's why I had to keep asking God, like, are you sure? And I was like, Amber, stop. Stop asking him, are you sure? Because I know this is God move. Because so far, my whole time I was in school it's been very smooth my transition was very smooth because it was it was it was it was orchestrated by God it was orchestrated by God and this is my testimony guys and I was like I don't want to be so transparent but I have to be transparent because maybe I'm helping someone else you know and God has put this on my heart and mind to to say you know what share this share this with your viewers share this with your friends share this with your family share this with someone because this can get them into their their right season or into their right attitude of, okay this is what god want me to do this is where he he want me to go so if you hear the voice of the lord if something just keep getting in that in your way when you're trying to do something that you want to do and you know it's not working out i just say stop seek god to go on a fast and don't ask him for like oh money this that, and the other like god already know that that's that's what you need but seek him and say god what are my footsteps what do you want me to do? What What do you have me to do? Um, who should I go pray for? Like, those are things that I was praying for also on my fast, not just my major. Even though I was being a crybaby over there, I'm just like, Lord, like, this is not working. I don't know what to do. But I also was praying for other stuff and other people. And I feel like that helps because God don't see that you're just coming for yourself, that you're coming for other people too. It was other stuff on my list that I was praying for and fasting after too. But that was, like, my main concern. Because I was like, okay, God, I'm totally leaning and depending on you to make a move for me. And he told me to pivot. And when I pivot and I had the dream, I was just like, are you sure? But now that I'm walking in that, y'all, I feel so much better. I feel so much lighter. I feel like I'm going in the right direction. And I feel like this is where God had me and this is where he had me. And we don't know our future. We don't know what's before us. So we can't plan out so much of you know our future only god can do that only he can orchestrate you and if you ask him to put you on the right path because you know everything you know everything you see everything you know the past present and future he knows everything so ask him to lead and guide you and to order your footsteps and he will make a way and he will make it clear god is a clear god God is an awesome God and he wants what's best for you. Ask him what's best for you. Not what you want, not what you need. But God, what do you see fit? And when you get real with him and when you come to him sincerely with a humble heart, he will tell you. Either he's going to put it in a vision, a dream, or he's going to tell someone to tell you, this, thus said the Lord. Okay? 
So, guys, I hope I left you with some type of inspiration or some type of hope. I pray that God see you and whatever you're asking him for, I just want you to be genuine. Um, if you have to go on a three-day three day fast, I'm not saying that's what you have to do. That's what God ordered me to do, and I followed through, and that's what he said, and this is where I am now. I am happy than I ever, I ever been, and I'm going to continue to follow his steps, not just with natural stuff, but with my spiritual life as well. So guys, I hope I have been a help to you and that you can get through anything, any stumbling block, just ask God. So that's all I have to say, guys. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and share with a friend, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.